Hey guys, HackserTech here for another video, and today we're going to be going over how you can actually improve the photos and videos you take on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Alright, so here I have a website up which is going to be linked in the description, and this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to share something that I recently found that has helped me to take significantly better photos and videos on my Note 9 and to do that what I'm using is a port over from the Google camera specifically for the Note 9. So it's not exactly like the Pixel camera uh, but it has some of the useful uh, features that Google has in their software uh, for their camera application to be able to take better pictures and the processing is just a lot better. So grab that link in the description and you can see here when you scroll down that there's going to be two links. There's a port uh, for the Galaxy Note 9 with the Snapdragon processor, which is the US version, and then outside of the US, the Exynos version. Uh, that's the second link down here in this red box. Um, so grab the port for whichever version you have, and you'll be able to download the APK and install it for that application. So all you have to do is just click on that, make sure that you have unknown sources allowed, and you'll be able to install the APK fairly easily. Now I've already done this and you can see here on my home screen in the bottom right corner I've replaced where I usually have my camera application from Samsung with the new application, the Google Camera app here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Google Camera app and we'll take a look at a few of the features here. Okay, so here is the Google Camera application and you can see that off the bat it's very simple. Uh, the Google Camera application used to be available in the Play Store, but it's now only available on uh, compatible devices, and of course the Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 9 and other Samsung devices are not compatible. Uh, you can only download it really for Google devices. So if I click on the top left hand icon here, you can see that I have uh, my basic features here. And the first one that I wanted to talk about that is significantly improved is the lens blur feature. So if I click on the lens blur feature, one of the things that has been a major, I wouldn't say issue, but it's been somewhat problematic uh, on the Note 9 is that the live focus feature on the Note 9 is very unreliable, at least on my device. And so the lens blur feature here, if I just grab an item to focus on, I can go ahead and just move my phone back like so. So it's not going to really show up uh, well here on the screen share, but uh, it, it takes significantly better uh, pictures with that sort of bokeh effect or the, the lens blur effect as compared to the live focus on the Note 9 that's built into the Samsung camera app. Um, additionally, the ability to actually adjust the blur is, is much better, it's much easier. Um, when I was trying to do this before on uh, the default Samsung camera app, I had a lot of problems with it actually effectively. Um, kind of filtering out the subject from the rest of the photo so the entire photo ended up becoming very blurry and it was kind of interfering with other parts of the photo uh, but anyway so yeah the lens blur feature is significantly better here on the Google camera application so the other thing that I wanted to show that is significantly better is the HDR processing and so here in the top you can see that I can have HDR uh, plus off on auto mode or on Currently I have it on, and so if I just take a basic picture here, and I go ahead and let it process, the HDR pictures are significantly better than what I'm getting on the default Samsung camera application. They're much clearer, um, just overall better. Uh, and the other thing is, whenever I take pictures with the default Note 9 camera application, the Samsung camera app, um, some other things that I've noticed is that it can be laggy, can be difficult to get a clear picture uh, and even when I'm taking videos within that default application I've noticed that the video tends to lag um, with this if I go into video mode here and I wanted to record a video there is no lag the picture is very clear um, the colors seem better and I think that just has to do with the software doing a better job of producing more accuracy uh, in the pictures and just overall performing better uh, it's also a much smoother experience. So there's really not too much to go over here. Um, I would recommend that you try it out uh, if you're having any problems with the default Note 9 camera application or just in general if you're kind of interested in trying out this 
uh, closer to a Pixel experience on the Note 9. Now, if you're curious to see how much better the pictures look on the Google Camera application, I'll post some comparisons here at the end of the video. But that's it for this quick walkthrough and this quick look at how you can get the Google Camera application on your Note 9 and start using it to produce better pictures and better video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.